On July 22nd, uh, we will experience the one-year anniversary of Jason's arrest in Iran. Uh, he was uh, taken from his home uh, with his wife and two others and uh, put into the Evan prison, which is Iran's worst prison. And he was held there for many months uh, without charges uh, and now has been on trial uh, on espionage charges and other, other supposed offenses. And uh, we are hoping for his release, uh, but it looks like that supposed trial is coming to a conclusion now and we don't know what's going to happen, but uh, he's a man who deserves his freedom and he deserves to be returned to his family. I want him to know that he wishes he could be covering this wonderful story about what's happening between Iran and the rest of the world, but unfortunately, he's been in prison for the last year. He and his wife, who is also a journalist, have not been able to. You know, my mom is in Iran right now. She's been there, it's her third trip. Uh, since the trial started, and uh, it's very difficult. I mean, it's, it's a very stressful situation over there. There's no process that tells them when something's going to happen. So, for example, you know, we expect the next trial date to be the last session for the trial, but we, know not, we don't know when that's going to be. You know, once that's over, we don't know how long it's going to take for the judge to come down with an opinion. We haven't seen the charges in public, but what we know from his lawyer is that he's accused of some very serious crimes, including espionage. The description, though, seems to, to really revolve around work that all of us do as journalists. Well, there was no evidence to support any uh, foul action by Jason. On the contrary, uh, he has been very vocal in terms of uh, projecting the sides of Iran that show how uh, modern Iran is. This design is Fahani. Yeah. It's very nice. How much time do you have to go to the first place? I'm going to You know, there's some similarities between uh, Iran in 2013 and the U.S. in 2008. Uh, very high expectations. Uh, a lot of pressure on the, on the common man. Uh, and a very difficult road ahead. You know, I'd been to see Jason in Iran last June, just six weeks or so before he was detained. Spent about a week going around town, seeing people, uh, interviewing them. Jason is a remarkably uh, energetic, uh, curious, fun-loving guy. He grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area, loves baseball and, and burritos, but also loves and has a deep passion for his father's native Iran. And he's really made it his career to go back and try to help explain Iran to American readers. I'm moved by the energy of so many people congregated in one place. I'm moved by the fact that so many of my relatives are buried here. And most of all, since it was my dad's childhood playground. He's still stuck, locked up in a room, um, you know, not able to talk to his wife when he wants to talk to his wife, not able to move around, um, really with very little human contact. And I think that's really the hardest thing for him. You know, he asked me what Jason was like. Jason's a people person. You know, he likes being with people, and, and I think that's really one of, the, one of the toughest things for him is being um, locked away, not having access to, to other people other than the guards, the interrogators who come in threaten him, tell him that he should confess to something he didn't do. You know, I mean, I think that the, the only right thing to do would be for Jason to be acquitted promptly <laughs> or for the charges to be dropped. You know, I think that now, given that, you know, all these other situations are over with, the nuclear negotiations are over with, that gives the opportunity for people further up in the Iranian government to look at what the evidence is and say, this isn't the kind of evidence that supports keeping somebody in jail for, for a year. We remain very, very hopeful that Iran will make a decision uh, to do the right thing and to return those citizens to the United States. And we are consistently, uh, constantly, even now, uh, continuing to work on that. The administration says that it uh, continues to work for his release and the release of other Americans who are held in Iran. And uh, we know that they continue to press for his release. We would like them to press even harder uh, because nothing has happened uh, and we don't know what's going to happen in the future. And so it's critical that this injustice come to an end.